the oligarchy that the skull and bones represented of the 19th century, the Illuminati, that was only within Western culture. Yes. And now, with wealth all over the planet, and, and many oligarchies showing up in Saudi, America, Saudi Arabia or South America, China, India, you can't control it on the global level that George Orwell laid out. George Orwell described the period up to World War II, the decentralization, the many states, the many oligarchies everywhere have become so powerful that they've actually killed the skull and bones tradition. They have stopped them, and that's what I'm saying. The good news is SWIFT has cut off the Skull and Bone Society. They have no power. Um, you know, it's very interesting how people, uh, and it just came out that Hitler had one testicle. I know, uh, I'm sure everybody takes joy in that, but uh, I don't know if that's uh, the reason for his mania. Maybe so. Um, but why the fixation on that image? Why is Hitler the ultimate villain when you have Stalin, when you have Mao? Um, and uh, why is that? Uh, why is that one thread the answer to um, to what people see as as the um, the estate that is undermining this world? Okay, and McLuhan used to say uh, on another show I'm on up at CKLN in Toronto, uh, we play a McLuhan quote where he says Hitler was a radio man. Hmm. Hitler was a radio man. Hmm. What that means is in the radio environment of the 20s, 30s, and 40s, which created tribal icons like Churchill, Roosevelt, Mussolini. Um, and Mao Zedong later, and Stalin, it was Hitler with the German language, with its heavy um, tradition of literacy and industrialization, even though they weren't as industrialized as Britain and the United States, but the tactile qualities of the German uh, language and the German people, and the fact that they, they were you know, disenfranchised from World War I, they came back with a rage. They had the, they had the extra impact of their tactile language the Germanic literate industrial background. I mean, many great cultures and scientists came out of Germany in the 1800s and 1900s, so, or 1800s and 1700s. You, so the combination of charisma of, of Hitler, as David Bowie said, he was the first pop star, that gives the prominence for those that are nostalgic for acoustic space and the radio effect, which is what KPFK is. We're radio. Radio was, you could say, the most violent engendered the most violent reaction in older media of any medium hmm. all right so yeah. radio created killed more people and so the most violent cultural image coming out of germany is appropriate resonates with that oh very good very good i want to get this final caller in caller five you are on with bob 